What's going on everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Today we're back at the Goodwill Bins. You know what it is. I'm trying to go in here and get as much inventory as we can to flip for a profit on eBay. So just stay tuned guys. First item up is a pair of Dickies in the bins. Guys, make sure you look out for these because these things still will sell all year round even though it's heating up. So we got us this Winnie the Pooh chambray button up shirt. This should sell well, guys, because Chambray sells uh, fast, and it's Winnie the Pooh, so we're definitely going to get that. All right, guys, check this joint out. Look at that, boy. Sheesh. Nike. That deal is super exclusive. Fold it up all nice and neat for me here, man. Let's freaking go, baby. So we got us this uh, Big Lebowski t-shirt. I'm definitely going to grab this because I dropped the ball on the Shaun of the Dead shirt last week. This might be worth $10, but hey, I'm gonna grab it. Okay, a couple items I found here is this Goonies shirt uh, and this Carhartt button up. Nothing fancy, but a few little dollars laying right here, guys. I did find this Rolling Stones t-shirt, but it is a um, modern print. It's not vintage, but I'm still gonna grab it anyway, just cause it'll probably sell for about 10, 15 bucks. So I found the Victoria's Secret stash as usual. Got this piece and then I got this piece and then I got this piece as well so three pieces of Victoria's Secret just bread and butter guys okay guys I know it's getting hot but this is a vintage Abercrombie and Fitch uh, button-up shirt but it's uh, vintage and Abercrombie is coming back for some reason. So I'm definitely going to grab this and see how well it does for me. Because uh, I don't want to pass up an opportunity if this happens to be worth something. Okay guys, got this Carhartt flame resistant shirt. Uh, definitely be on the lookout for this stuff guys. The flame resistant stuff sells better than the regular stuff. Even though it is long sleeves, somebody probably might buy this uh, that's a welder or something where they need their arms to be covered. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this guys. Okay, so we got another Carhartt shirt. This is the Carhartt Pocket Tee. Just the basic one. It's not the flame resistant one, but still good money. And then I got this NASCAR button up. Uh, it's a little bit dingy. 50th anniversary. I still feel like I can look it up and see what the value is on it, but uh, I know NASCAR stuff can sell pretty well too. Okay guys, so does this qualify as a center swoosh like Travis Scott will wear? Because uh, if so, I'm definitely going to grab this. But also, check this polo hoodie out. It seems to be in pretty good condition. The zipper does work, so I'm going to grab that too. Even though it is getting closer to summertime, this should sell pretty quick. Okay guys, if you watch my channel for any length of time now, you know that I love uh, Hard Rock Cafe clothing, especially when it's out of the country. And this one is from Barcelona, so this should go for really good money too, guys. And it just looks different. It's got like this real uh, homemade look to it. So definitely gonna pick that up, guys. Okay guys, another find is these rock and roll jeans. Uh, these sell pretty decently. Uh, I don't find them often at all. But what I did find again was another Carhartt shirt. I think this is shirt number three. Even with the stains and stuff on it, this will still sell, guys. Don't sleep on Carhartt. So we got us some Carhartt shorts, guys. Carhartt shorts sell well too, and it is getting close to summertime, so definitely gonna pick these up, guys. All right, guys, so I found this Oakley flannel lined um, jacket. It's a size small. This one is gray. However, this one right here is sold on February 14th. It's a small, but it's blue for $30 on one bid. So that wasn't very long ago. It was like a month ago. So I look for verified sold in the last 30 days when I'm picking up an item. This is verified sold in the last 30 days. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this jacket and see if I can get me a quick $30 as well. All right, guys, we got us a Nike funnel neck hoodie. It's a women's extra large. Uh, there's none of the actual dark ones sold in the last 30 days. This one is 31 days and it's sold for $26.99. And uh, that one is a little bit older. Um, but we got a purple one that sold two days ago. Uh, purple one sold February 27th. So 
maybe I'll go ahead and break my 30 day rule and grab this one uh, because it's one day out and just price it at a fair price and see if I can get a quick sell. Okay guys, so all of these that I'm seeing are brand new, uh, except for this one, but they are selling for around uh, 35, let's see, $32, $23. No, that's pre-owned as well. Uh, 15, 27 brand new, 34 brand new, five. Why they sell it for five, I don't know. But I figure least I can get is uh, probably about 12 to 15 bucks for these, especially since they do have some type of stains on them. Uh, we won't overprice them and they will sell quick just because Carhartt is really popular right now. Alright guys, so technically all the sold comps I'm seeing on this center swoosh hoodie are technically not center swooshes. Like this center swoosh is in the middle of the chest. Uh, that one is, it's sold for $44.99. Uh, $44 and this one is not because the sw center swoosh is in the middle of the hoodie right here. That's not a center swoosh. It has to be up here by the neckline, which I had to learn myself as well. See, that's a center swoosh. But anyway, I'm still going to grab this thing and list it for about $30 and see what happens, guys. So, I don't know if I showed this on camera, but I found this big uh, Adidas Trefoil 3XL brown hoodie. It's in super clean condition, like no one's ever even washed it. I think they probably just wore it, maybe just didn't like it or something, but there's no sold comps on this. So with it being a 3XL, I'm probably gonna price it a little bit higher and uh, try to get it to move for around 40 bucks, but I'll accept an offer of anything over $25, honestly, just to get rid of it. All right, guys, so these rock and roll cowboy jeans, uh, there is 10 listed and 16 sold for $25, $39, free shipping, $25, $40 for two of them, $29, uh, $28, $22, $35. So, I'm gonna get these and I'm gonna list them for about $30, $35 bucks and accept offers. Uh, but good chance that I probably will get closer to the $35 mark for these because they're in really good condition. And, uh, these like i said these are rock and roll cowboy jeans so they're uh pretty popular right now western gear is for some reason really really taking off so if you guys want to sell in western gear like area and things like that you need to really get into it guys got these uh vintage y2k era um i used to call these things swishy pants man when i was a kid but these uh polyester blend little po uh, pocket track uh pants these go for anywhere from like 18 to 25 dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and grab these guys uh i love selling these and they don't weigh much so it brings the buy cost of my total purchase down tremendously so in this hard rock cafe hoodie uh the only one to sell of this exact kind is um this one right here for 14 dollars uh, plus shipping on the 26th of december which kind of bothers me a little bit but maybe there just isn't because there's none listed currently so maybe if i do list this it will sell for uh you know 20 25 bucks but this one right here hard rock cafe barcelona it's a kind of dark gray one this one sold for 49.99 on february 24th so that is 30 days uh, ago or less you know what i mean so i'm considering going ahead and grabbing this one and uh to see what my luck could play out because since there is none listed makes me hopeful that this one will sell fairly quick so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one guys it's an extra large so it's a good size uh i feel like i can get 35 to 40 bucks off this because it's super crispy except for this stain right there which i think will wash out so i'm not scared of this i'm gonna go ahead and grab it guys Alright guys, so on this polo full zip jacket right here, we got us a 100% selfie, right? This is super crispy, guys. Too bad it's not my size, but the only actual comps of one close to this is this one for $29.99, but it doesn't have the white embroidery on the outline of the letters, but they sold that one for $29.99 this month. This one sold the 8th, this one sold on the 6th, this one sold for 60 bucks on the 2nd, but that's not the kind that I have. But these comps are looking pretty good price-wise, so I feel like I'll be able to grab this one and list it for about 30 bucks, and uh, somebody should pay for that, uh, no questions asked, man. Pretty good jacket right here, guys. Uh, too bad I got so many hoodies, man, but you gotta work with what you got, you know? 
guys something i just want to talk about i'm not going to buy this but this is an elton john the big picture sweatshirt the neckline has been cut out so i can't tell what size it is but i couldn't find any sold comp to this but there was one of these listed for 99 bucks guys but like i said there's no size tag the neck's been cut out so that probably devalues the whole garment but still would have been a great find if i could have uh, got it in better condition but it's going back all right guys so a pretty sick find is this vintage adidas jacket uh vintage tag this thing is sick guys uh the only one that i could find that sold is this one right here on march 13th for 21 dollars 38 so this weighs like nothing guys so it's probably going to cost nothing so i'll grab that and i'll sell it for a quick 20 dollar bill every day of the week man so the carhartt shirts guys these uh are 10 to 20 bucks you know just depends especially the fr one but this this is going to be the worth uh this one is going to be the one that's worth the most and then these are going to be about 12 to 15 bucks uh pretty good finds though still regardless all right guys this is a gap flannel button down shirt from the 90s uh comps are all over the place 36 bucks, 24.99, 20, 19, 24, 19, 28, uh, 10, 50 on five bids. So, so yeah, man, I'll grab this and list it for about 20, 25 bucks and see if I can give me a pretty good sell here because it's in great condition. All right, guys. So this NASCAR button-down shirt, there's none sold, but there is one listed for thirty dollars. Uh, maybe I'll get this and then list mine and see if it will sell because it's getting ready to be summertime and it's short sleeve shirt so we'll see what happens with it guys maybe uh 20 25 dollars okay guys so the Abercrombie and Fitch shirt uh the sell through rate isn't actually all that terrible it's actually it's uh the sell through rate is only 50 percent though and that's not how high I would like it to be but there is one that's sold on the 13th the 11th the 11th that's not a button up this one sold for 35 on the 10th this one sold for 29 best offer on the 9th 26 on the uh, 9th so the sales are there but i just don't know if i want to get it and sit on it because it is uh getting warmer so i'm not going to keep repeating that um i just don't want to sit on it guys so i'm probably gonna to have to put it back even though you know it's still a pretty cool piece all right guys i'm really really uh stuck on this hard rock nashville shirt it's vintage made in the usa but the thing is they cut it guys so the comps are the comps are ridiculous on this that one's uh 15 doesn't count because that's a bid um this one 49 dollars that one 49 dollars oh man i really don't know guys do i get it and just list it in the women's category and just see what happens and take like you know super super duper low offers i don't know man i think i'm gonna get that anyway because there's probably a woman out there that'll wear this if i just list it in the women's category but still man regardless of this shirt or not hard rock stuff is going to be a great pickup guys all right guys this is actually a first for me this is pretty interesting so the tag been cut out right here so i can't tell what size it is the weird thing is is there's a large tag right there and then there's a medium tag right there so what in the actual heck is going on here is this a, is a fugazi is this not legit are we counterfeiting carhartt now guys so uh i'm gonna put this back the button's missing right there anyway but uh i'm not you know risking my account health for some fake carhartt shirt so totally weird man have you guys ever come across this ever all right guys so there's no exact comps on this nike shirt but i'm not gonna let it dissuade me i'll just grab this and do a little bit more research when i get home but i'm fairly certain that i can get about 40 to 50 bucks for this hoodie or for this uh sweatshirt and this will pretty much pay for the whole haul guys so you know my motto find one item that can pay for everything and the rest is profit all right guys so i'm pretty bummed out about this uh winnie the pooh shirt the sell through red is actually awesome on it but there is a stain right there i think there's a stain elsewhere but this isn't the type of stuff there's yeah there's the other stain it's actually pretty stained right there as well so this isn't the type of thing that you can sell stained i don't think so and uh still get top value out of it so i'm gonna go ahead and pass on it 
All right, guys, we got us another full cart, 37 items uh, in total. So let's go get checked out, and I'll give you guys a breakdown at the car. All right, guys, so here we are outside. We got 37 items. Guys, uh, spent $48.65 for a total buy cost of $1.31 per item. And I'm pretty sure that between this Nike crew neck and this polo shirt that'll pay for everything man but possibly this uh center swoosh nike shirt might pay for it all by itself and you just never know what people are willing to pay but this is a pretty good haul guys that's gonna do it for this one though guys catch you on the next one but until then let's make this cash guys peace